Hi, I'm Andreas and I will provide an overview of the components of a solar power system. There are solar or photovoltaic cells. The assembly of semiconductors and electronics or solar cells is enclosed in a photovoltaic module, more commonly known as a solar panel. Several solar panels are called solar panel array. A solar panel collects and generates energy from the sun's radiation. PV panels convert this energy to direct current electricity, a current that is produced by batteries. Although connecting a DC load in, uh, directly to the solar panel is possible, batteries play an important role to a properly working photovoltaic system. The battery stores energy generated by the PV panels. It stores excess energy that exceeds that of what the load requires. And it serves as a backup energy source when there is no supply from the PV system. During the whole process, the battery experiences a cyclical process of charging and discharging. When it stores harvested and excess energy, the battery is charged. When the load consumes electricity, the battery is discharged. During the day, the cycle is continuous, especially if the solar panels are not generating sufficient electricity for the load. At the, uh, as the day ends, the battery experiences continuous discharge, depending on the load and the availability of stored energy. A regulator is optional, yet a vital, a vital uh, equipment in a photovoltaic system. During the cyclic process, the battery is likely to become overcharged or overdischarged, a situation that shortens the battery's lifespan. A regulator prevents such situations from happening by regulating the battery's condition. It maintains a stage of charge where, the, where it monitors when the battery will be overly charged or discharged. In general, a regulator keeps the batteries in the most appropriate working conditions. A converter allows the DC electricity stored into the batteries to be converted to AC or alternating current electricity. The type of energy that is used by the mains power supply. The DC AC or direct alternating converter is also called an inverter and it, it's used to match the required uh, current and voltage by the load. It is typical to experience some energy loss during electricity conversion. Any appliance that consumes electricity is considered a load. When choosing a load for the solar power system, it is necessary to start with a low power component before installing additional solar panels to avoid wasting resources. PV systems are idle for illumination as lights only consume several watts compared to bigger appliances like television components or computers. There are also lightnings Lightings uh, that operate on direct current electricity, allowing the use of solar power system in a low budget scale. Solar panels, battery, regulator, converter and load make up the solar panel system. When all of these components are installed properly, a solar power system can sustain itself for years. Thank you for watching this presentation. You can find more information on solar energy on solarpanelsbrisbane.info